Ready? Get out. Get out. Okay, we remain one minute of silence. Put the boy in the middle. Close the eyes. One minute. Just to connect online before we spread. Online. We are in the middle of the paradise at that close one. know who of you understands English? Just to show your hands. Oh, there's so many. Oh. And who doesn't? Push this up to the So little. <laughs> yeah. Well. Good. They're translating well? Yes. No. <laughs> That's good. That's good that they have the courage to do it. Because not everybody has the courage. I admire their courage. Because they never did before. It's the first time, so, so for the first time we're doing well, really. Congratulations. So, well, we, well I will uh, go on then with this uh, second teaching, what does the Holy Spirit, and we go back to unity. <coughs> But the unity. But yeah, but just also uh, say a word, you know, about the air of family, you know. Um, you have psychological questions and spiritual questions. You have psychological questions? Uh, there are psychological questions. There are psychological questions. They young time, then they quick questions. They young time. Uh, there are two types of questions. There are two types of questions. 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 There are two types of questions. It's like psychological question. CK and gas. And when you know, you can be in the same family, you ask, you are Christian? Yes, you are Christian? Yes, you are Christian? Yes. But one is, has, his spirit is sleeping. His spirit is sleeping. So the psychological man, the psychological man, does not understand spiritual man. Never. When a spiritual man speaks to a psychological person, that psychological person thinks that the world is crazy. There is, for example, I was now in Germany, and I was with social Christians. They always say, we must act Act, act. Concrete. And yeah, they, 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 I'm using their voice now, right? I'm, I'm imitating them. Yeah. We must, the eyes like this. We must not act. No, no. No. Act. No. Act. Concrete, help poor people. Uh, politics, we have to be in politics. And what they say is true, it's written in the church, it's true. But then you have those personal questions. And, and they don't understand each other. It takes 200 years to 
make unity between this time and this and, and, and you have, uh, you know, St. Paul says it very clearly about these things, very clearly. It's only that you understand uh, there's a problem. Chapter 2, but well, you can take this one. Take chapter 2, uh, 14. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, 14. Prima Corinthians chapter 2, 14. Miesīgais cilvēks nesat par to, tas nāk no Dieva gara, jo tas viņam ir ģeķība. Viņš to nespēj aptvert, jo tas ir garīgi apspriešams. 15. Garīgais cilvēks izdibina visas lietas, bet viņu pašu neviens neizdibina. Yeah. 16. Jo kas ir atcinis tā kunga prātu, lai viņam varētu dot padomu, bet mums ir Kristus prāts. So, here it's, I uh, hear that in Latvian language is uh, miesa, you say here, but in fact it's psike, psike. Miesīgais cilvēks vai psikiskais cilvēks tā. In the Bible, no, uh, I am body. My body, uh, I see you, I hear you, I smell you, the five senses. Uh, if I have a problem, I go to a doctor. I'm also a psychological person. Uh, in the Bible it's called soul. Soul. Dvasel. Dvasel by people is psyche. Psyche. Dvasel, das, ir, psyche. Soul is the psyche. When I have a problem, psychological problem, I go to a psycho psychologist. I go to a psychiatrist. And for the Bible, the psyche and the flesh is the same. On Bible, I can. Psyche is body and psyche. Yeah. It's important to understand huh? the, the, the flesh in the back, the flesh. Yes, yeah, that's important. Uh, my body and my psyche is from this world. Very important because the translation are uh, always a bit problem. But, but you know that's very big many Christians have a problem because of these two these misunderstandings. Many Christians have a problem. Those uh, those are Christian shame problems. I talk at the not as separations. Do not understand. It's not as you know when I have a psychological problem. It's not a psychological problem. It's not the same as a spiritual problem. It's not the spiritual getting problem. Yes. For example, I do not feel life psycholo psychologically. I do not. I want love. Yeah. Let's keep it. Let's seek it. Love. Seek it. Oh, let me see. Let me see. Oh, let me see. 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 To be in love is psyche. It's not. It's not. Uh, to be in love, to fall in love, is not spiritual. Emulate is that now karika meal. That is psyche. Psychological. Not the same. So you mean? So if you say I want love from God, you want psyche, babe. Psyche. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 No. So it's great meals to be with Like that's a psychological meal. Yes. God can act. He can act. Holy Spirit can act on your body. Yes. Yes. body. Yes. Can. He can act on your psyche. He can. He can act, work. Yeah. Uh, ah, 
And then when the Holy Spirit comes to you, oh, I feel as you do, do it, yes. But it's not true. Not that I sneak into the body, you do it, yes. You cannot feel God. You cannot feel God. God can act on your psychology. Yes, so that one is stop. He can work. So you can, and, and many Christians would like, oh, I always want this psychological love, always psychological love I want. As Ribut Psyche, Siena, Dwesser Ministerium, Dwesser Ministerium. But emotionaler Ministerium. But yes, the visa likes to us, she doesn't minister. But which moves me? Lutti, 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 Lutti. But Mr. the visa, the yes, the gas. And Mr. and Mr. and the gas. And that's what. So as as we build, as 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 move. Yes, Psyche, or the visa, or gas. Tris, ne? We get it. So Lutti is very good. Sin hat. When I do not feel love. Does not mean that there is no love. Does not mean that there is no love. Because if you depend on that, you will be very, you will have be depression. Is that so? Yeah, this is what you not you said that. Love, okay, God can make feel love, but not always. Yes, absolutely. So you said, so let's go to the gifts of God. Uh, let's take 1 Corinthians 12. Sorry. So, you can read uh, from 4 to 11. 4 to 11. Ir dažas dāvanas. Bet viens pats gars, ir dažādas kalpošanas, bet viens pats kungs, ir dažādi spēki, bet viens pats dievs, kas dod visas spējas visiem. Bet tik vienam ir dota gara izpausme, lai nestu svētību. Citam gars dod udrības runu, citam atziņas runu, tas pats gars. Citam dota ticība tai pašā garā, citam dāvanas ciedināt tai pašā vienā garā, citam spēki brīnumus darīt, citam dāvanas mācīt praviešu spēkā, citam garu pazīšanu, citam dažādas mēles un mēļu tulkošanu. Visu to padara viens un tas pats gars, piešķirdams katram savu tiesu kā gribētams. So, you see, and there is not all, there are other gifts, there are many other gifts. Tas nav viss daudz, ir daudz cits arī. In the Bible, there is, uh, you know, here in the Corinthian letters, in the Corinthian letters, they only speak about the charisms. Has charism. Uh, because there are three things of the Holy Spirit, three things He gives, three. You have the gifts of the Holy Spirit. You find that in, 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 the, in the Isaiah book. Chapter 11. They are gifts. They are the most important. They are the most important. Then you have the fruits. We read them this morning. The fruits in Galatian letter. Then you have the charisms. The charisms are not so important than the others. You can be very charismatic and not be holy. Uh, where people, there were people who met Jesus, you know, we said, Jesus, we prophesied in your name, we healed in your name. And Jesus says, I don't know you. Go away. You, you're doing evil. So you can be very big charismatic. Speak like I do. Speak about Jesus and God and still not belong to Jesus. So, charism does not mean that I'm a good Christian. When God gives you charism, it's that for everybody. When He gives charism, He can give a very big charism of healing. But He Himself perhaps is not healed. Spiritually. Spiritually. 
But gifts, when you receive gifts, the same down. The gifts which you read, can read in the Isaiah book 11. They increase your faith. They increase your love. They increase uh, your Christian life. Very important. So, for example, Mary, marriage and Mary. Uh, Mary did not exercise charisms. Uh, no, Mary. Zveta Maria. 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 She did not use charism. We do not know. But, rather, uh, but she had many gifts. A uh, gift of uh, wisdom. A good dreams down. Gift of uh, intelligence. Ah, uh, intelligence down. Gift, gift of uh, uh, good knowledge. Ah, good dreams down. Uh, gift of inner strength. Spark down. Gift of uh, prayer. Illusions down. Uh, great, uh, gift of uh, well, uh, respect, deep respect. All, all respect, not all, but respect, respect. Yeah, all these things down. But they are also we need. But we need charisms. Thanks God that we have charisms. And, and, and charisms are important not so much for yourself, but to edify the community. The charisms are important not so much for my own holiness, but to edify, to construct the community. Community. So it's not for me. When I have a charisma, it's not for me, it's for you, for, for us. So there is one charism which is a bit strange for many people. It's the gift of tongues. Yeah. Uh, there are many traditional Christians that are not interested in this one. <laughs> it's very old, it's very strange. And it's true, you don't need to have this gift to be holy. You don't need to be, to have this, you know, you are not less Christian, you're not a second class Christian if you don't have this gift. So there are many holy people in the church who have, don't, do not have that gift. But if you want it, and if you can have this a gift, what God wants to give to everybody who wants it. Oh, you both who want it. Uh, everybody who wants to that gift can have it. If he wants. What's the advantage of this gift? It's like a it's like a key. Uh, it opens you to prayer. And you know, uh, our own language. It's too poor to express all what we would like to say. And uh, when we speak to God, He knows us. So you don't, and, and, and a moment, you know, when you have this gift, there's just some sounds, and there's just some sounds. Uh, it can be a real language. It can be just one of the just sounds, just sounds like a child. It edifies, says Saint Paul, yourself. It edifies yourself. It constructs yourself. Yeah. So, for example, when I, let's say, I'm very tired. Then, what I can do is I can say, speak in tongues. Something like that. I get free and I don't know what I'm talking about. But the Lord knows. So all of you, for the Holy Spirit in you, He knows what you're saying. You don't know. The same thing when I pray on a person. Huh? Pray on a person. 
كنت تصور ليت سي فيرست او هذا هذاك اوكي اي كان تراي نو مور باي But perhaps the problem is not there. He doesn't know what's the root of the problem. But I don't know. So if I speak in tongues, oh, the God will say the words. Which I should have said, but I don't know. And he will touch the real root of that sickness. I allow him to heal it. So that's the thing. So then you have sometimes, sometimes when I pray the person, a picture comes. Or, I pray. Oh, I have a picture of a fire. Is there? Did you have a? Now, yeah, I test. I asked you, did you have a problem with fire? Fire doesn't say, say something to you. Oh yes, when I was a child, when I was three years old, I was burning in my house. Oh. Oh. And I know where to pray for. It's like this. Uh, so the, the, the gift of tongues, uh, St. Paul says, um, he, he has this gift strongest of all. Of all questions, he says, I am the strongest giver of speaking in tongues. And you can even sing it, it's even easier. Sing it. No. You're like a child, and, and you start to open and, and you get free from all worries and fears. So when you are taking a shower, uh, you just oh, la, 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 and I remember once uh, there was a, a lady from Belgium. She had was very charismatic. She, she asked me, uh, "Do you know singing Dutch?" I, I said, "I don't know." I, I do some. I imitate sometimes. I, I hear this charismatic, so I imitate that. It is I do Ah, she says, okay, sit down, I will make a test with you. And there were many charismatics there. So they said, one, two, three, they all had to sing in tongues. And she said to me, and they said, stop, and she listened to me. I said, that's it, she said. Oh, so that is a, that is very easy. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody can do it. So you see, it's not so complicated. So, but you need to be, to be a little bit crazy. Yeah. Then you have other gifts, you know, um, prophecy. Yeah. Saint Paul says the second biggest, the, the biggest gift is the love, of course, love. If you have uh, all gifts and you don't have love, then all your charisms you can forget. <coughs> uh, chapter 13. Uh, usually, people who marry orders choose that text. But they never read it correctly. Uh, when you really read what they have, what they have read, when you really read, uh, those is, people are going to marry, they choose this text always about love. Yeah. It starts like that. Ja, es unatu at silverku un engelu melem. Ah, there is it already. Un man ne mutu menestiba. Das es mutu skanos vars. Vai skinjos zwaugulis. But he speaks, first thing is, ja, es unatu at silverku un engelu melem. So we can go, we can even pray like angels. So this is a language we don't understand. It can happen that um, in Paris, for example, it happened. Uh, there was a group of charismatics. And then um, there was downstairs a, a girl who wanted to throw herself through the windows. And suddenly she heard from above, though in her dialect, in her language, 
Nobody knew this language. Uh, it comes from a very far country. Uh, don't do it, don't, don't. And that really And then she was surprised. Who knows my language here? And she went upstairs, said, uh, does he know any body language, my language? I heard my language. Well, he only speaking in tongues, he said. There was one person who says, yes, it was me who spoke loudly. But he didn't know he was speaking her language. Or another person, for example, but there are many examples like that. For example, the person who uh, there was a girl who in France who uh, uh, she didn't feel love. We in France, yes. And then one, one was uh, praying on her. And then she she suddenly she said, "You speak Russian to me." <laughs> she she knew very well. Of course, this girl knew very well Russian. But this person who was praying on her didn't know Russian. He was just speaking in tongues. He doesn't understand what he's saying. So this God said, I heard you said, my dear child, my dear child. In Russian. Now, there will be a prophecy. You see, uh, for St. Paul, he says the, the biggest gift after love is prophecy. Now prophecy is not what people think to say the future. It's not, not, that's not the meaning in the Bible, the first meaning. The first meaning of prophecy is to speak in the name of God. You speak, you, you know God speak through you. So for example, while I was speaking today to you, uh, and one word touched you, especially. That's prophetic. And you know it. Uh, oh, that word you spoke to me. And is there anybody who had this experience? Did anybody of you touch by one word, one phrase? No? Can say the wrong word, but some sentences. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were touched by yes, yes. No, I when I speak, I do not know which word you will touch. I do not know this. I do not decide this. It's the nice thing. The Holy Spirit. And sometimes the Holy Spirit can that I look at you and I don't know if you notice that I'm looking at you. I don't know, but you know. When the Holy Spirit speaks to you, I'm looking, and then the person has the pressure to speak that I'm looking to that person. It's not me who decides this. It's the Holy Spirit. So God can speak through a person, He can speak through you, He can speak to everybody. And sometimes you speak to a person, and you touch a person, and He will remind you the words, what we got. Can you imagine, uh, is it happened to you that you went to visit a sick person in a hospital, for example? And you, you don't know what to say to that person, but you say something, say something. And after, one week after, one month after, you go back to that person, and he says, thank you for what you told me. It was so good. It was so strong. I can't forget. Did you have this experience? I think everybody of you made this experience. So, in fact, we are using prophecy without knowing it. It's every time that a word which comes from very deep comes out of you like a source and goes right in the heart of somebody. That's prophecy. Especially if it's a word that doesn't need to be exactly the word of God as in the Bible, it can be otherwise. So, uh, this old lady from Belgium, when she came to Latvia, for example, 
She said, no, we are going to, well, I have no time to do that, but uh, we are going to practice prophecy. Uh, and then we, they said first in tongues. And then later, um, she said, no, tell me in, among you, which word came out in you? What word is in you? What did you get out? Some people are afraid, but 